What's up, man? I'm gonna talk about life. It happens. Life happens. Shit happens. Let's talk about it. What's up, YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber in the world, Elmer Silva, representing Gosh the Nice and King Josh Lennox. What's up, y'all? If y'all tuning in, this is your first time and you barely sub, you barely sub. Thank you very much, much appreciated. And y'all know, y'all already know, man. I'ma try to come at you and showing you stuff about muscle, fitness, losing weight, staying healthy and just looking good. And for y'all who've already subscribed many, many, many months ago, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for supporting your boy, man. Yeah. Anyway, guys, today is gonna be a little bit less energy, a little down. Take it down, take it down, take it down, take it down, take it down. I'm gonna take it down a little bit, man. I haven't been making videos on a regular, and I'm gonna explain why, who, what, how, who. I'm gonna explain to you guys why I haven't been making videos. I'm gonna tell you guys I'm coming back soon, man. I'm gonna start pumping iron. Very, and I haven't pumped iron in a while, see? I haven't pumped iron in a bit, and I'm gonna explain why, man. So, let's get into it. Hey, let's get into it, man. All right, guys. I was pumping iron for like a year, man. For like a year, we're looking good, man. Ow, ow, ow. Hair is looking good. Anyway, guys, I'm losing my hair, guys. I'm losing my hair, man. I don't want to lose my hair, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's funny. Not to get off the subject here at all, but we're going to get off the subject for a teeny weeny. You know how you think about uh, you, you donate your organs when you die. You know what I'm saying? You donate your stuff when you die. You give your stuff. Like if you have new cars, you have cars, you have a house, you donate all that stuff to somebody who's still living. Now, talking about hair loss, man. Just talking about hair loss. People do die. People do pass on to the other life. Why doesn't? Because see, normally when you get hair reconstructed, surgery I call that's what I call it, like hair plugs or whatever they call it, where they leave a big old nasty scar across much all the way across and then they sew it back together so but the scar is nasty the scar is like forget about it who wants to have a big nasty scar? okay so they they transplant that strip and they put it up here but you got a nasty scar all the way around your you know and it's just like man eh, it almost defeats the purpose you know they clean this up but they leave a nasty scar back here and it's like well you know don't they call it fix one problem i don't know i don't know right now i can't even think but they say you know you fix one problem but you leave another one behind or you make something even worse or you you create a problem that wasn't there a big old nasty scar so my thing is people die almost every day every day people die every day not, not almost every day people die why don't they get these these hair see i'm just probably Probably giving somebody an idea uh, but it's all right because we're full of them man this ain't the only idea i got man so why don't when these people die you know obviously they grab the organ right they harvest the organs and they save them and however they keep them up you know how they however they maintain them uh, in usable form they they harvest the organs so why don't they harvest the hair man well, why don't they just harvest the hair why don't they tell all these hair these hair transplanting places Hey man, you got blonde hair, blonde, who, who, anybody who needs blonde hair. In other words, these places, man, like Bosley and all these places that charge like 20 grand, man. And, and you know, and, and, and when they don't need that scar, they take hair from here with the follicle and they put it up here. So they transport it over here. But what they end up doing, they end up, blowing, they end up leaving you bald. So it's like, they fix one problem, but they create another problem. See what I'm saying? So you don't have enough hair here to cover the top. Some people don't. Some people are completely bald on top and it's like, you need hair from somewhere else from someone else another host to cover up your situation you know it depends on how much hair you need but anyway guys my thing is if someone passes on why don't why doesn't that doctor whoever kind of harvest the organs why don't they harvest the hair why don't they harvest the hair you know what i'm saying why don't they get the hair and say hey why don't they have a communication and and, and somebody wants to go to bossy or whatever these companies are that you know they do that stuff hey sir hey, excuse me doctor um i got a patient here that needs blue curly hair and then the doctor calls a couple of you know calls a couple of hospitals and say i need blue curly hair you got anybody there man you got anybody there you know what i'm saying and then you eat oh, yeah I, in texas in hello howdy partner i got someone who just uh, got hit by a car he's got blue curly hair uh will you be needing it and just you know just scalp them you know like they used to do with the indians just scalp them <laughs> scalp the dude and send 
the scalp to the recon the, I don't know, I don't know what it's called. I guess I'm gonna call it the reconstruction, uh, reconstructive surgery place. Why don't they just send that stuff over there and then just instead of picking hair off of here or leaving you a nasty scar, just get the dead person's the you know the person who passed. I don't want to say dead, it's disrespectful, but it's what it is, right? Uh, you just get the scalp, the harvest scalp. There you go. That's even better. Why don't they just get the harvest scalp and use what they need? See, they do that for uh, they do that for chicks. You know what I'm saying? Like they they get that like just obviously they get the hair from India, but over there they tell the people in India they're doing it for religious reasons to cut their virgin hair so these people in India let their hair grow really long and then there's these companies that lie to them and tell them hey um, you're doing you're doing a religious thing by cutting your hair and donating it so these people in India are donating their hair their 10 15 year long growing growth of hair they're giving it away for free to this business right i don't know obviously you know this woman will you know this beautiful indian woman will cut her long ass hair to you know it's all the way down her chest or navel or butt and she's cutting her hair and she's sending it away to this company and this company's turning around and selling it shipping it over here to the states to the states and they're selling it to these um, to these beauty salons obviously you know it keeps going it keeps going in different parties but then when it gets to the person who wants the long extensions like uh, like Beyonce they're having to pay an arm and a leg for it but originally it started over here as free as a donation so why can't they do that for dudes hair they do that for hair already but it's just for the chicks right they have beautiful long indian hair that's what i got indian hair it's true because it's not indian as in ooh, you know with an arrow not that kind of thing i'm talking about you know with dot here but it's true why can't they donate why can't there be a system where people who pass on donate their hair for dudes so they you know just harvest it just harvest it and uh just harvest it and sell it and a dude can buy it for pennies on the dollar i don't know why anyway man this rent has gone on way too long and i'm gonna have to make another video on exactly what i was wanting to say man but i went on a little rant and i went on way too long anyway guys if y'all like this video like my comment like the leave a leave a message leave a message at the beep beep no 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 i'm saying like comment subscribe guys let me know what you guys think oh money Instagram man follow me on Instagram let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys want to hear about let me know if you want a, a, any particular rant I don't know why I got on the hair rant man well I know why because I'm going bald man I'm going bald anyway guys let me know what you guys think I'm over to a representative <laughs>